Was Battlefront dead? It seems like the Imperials finally did their jobs and wiped out that rebel scum. Well, that's the case if you're on PC. Six months ago, there was a total of 80,000 people playing Battlefront, which is still not a lot. But that was before all the best DLC came out. You'd think now that Bespin and Death Star came out that the player base wouldn't fall too low. But the total active player stats hovered just over 25% of that 80,000 with PC having only 3,500 players max on on any given day. And PS4 having the most, around 14,000. So what happened? Did that many people really want to be helmetless stormtroopers? Or were people just tired of your noob ass picking up the hero token and dying within the first two seconds because you don't watch my how to plays fully? Well, let's start at the beginning. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, there was an evil dictator named EA who wanted their troops at DICE to make a Star Wars game in a limited time frame with no campaign and people who had to watch the Star Wars movies because half the staff had never even seen it before making the game. When the game came out, it looked and sounded like Star Wars, but the galaxy was in chaos over lack of content and game mechanics. For most Star Wars fans, the go-to mode was Heroes vs. Villains. Luckily for evil EA, the developers had modeled the game closer to COD than anything else, and the FPS fans flocked to something different and new. After a short reign at the height of the galactic conflict, players started dropping with the release of new games and Battlefront's bugs and oversimplicity and repetitive gameplay. But the arrival of DLC kept some Star Wars fans on. Bespin and its hero Lando received high praise and reward, and now the Death Star DLC is out, but the player base has already dropped so low. Now, only the true Star Wars fans remain as Rogue One is coming when the game comes to an end. So yeah, that's basically what happened. Now, not all hope is lost because in place of that Obi-Wan and Mos Eisley Cantina map you could have gotten, you're getting the biggest marketing plot to ever hit Battlefront. Jin Erso and her Rogue One buddies. I bet you guys didn't even want Old Ben anyway. And who would have wanted that poor Cantina music? I mean, it's full of alien scum. Will Rogue One be enough to get the player base back at its prime? No, probably not. But it will most likely gather some new players and raise it a little for a while because everyone loves to relive a movie in a game. Let's be honest, EA at this point is ready to come out with Battlefront 2, which surrounds the new trilogy. Now we can hope that it will be more in depth and involved and we can almost guarantee an episode 8 DLC for the game, so maybe more lightsaber characters. Old man Luke. But hey, what do other people's problems matter? I still play Battlefront on PS4 and I can get into any 40 player game just fine. Take that PC Master Ace. But I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I'd still rather play Battlefront until a new Star Wars game comes out. That's not to say the simplicity, especially with lightsaber combat, doesn't bother me. It's just that I enjoy the game, even with its flaws, because without a Star Wars game is a way bigger flaw. That being said, I'm still gonna bitch about the problems because the only way DICE will ever give the original heroes and villains traits is if we make our voices heard until EA crushes our little rebellion with their fully armed and operational battle station. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to check out my other content right here, and be sure to share this video and subscribe to the channel for more galactic content, and I'll see you guys later.